the channel guys this is something that i'm actually very excited to share with you because this is something that i wish existed whenever i was first starting out learning 3d evolving from going from premiere and after effects to implementing 3d objects trying out different softwares because it really can open a lot of doors for you and it can really step up your game when it comes to creating videos or creating 3d renders as a whole so in this pack you're going to get 30 3d models in obj format which means that you can import them into any 3d software that you have it works with every version so blender which is free cinema 4d element 3d for after effects 3ds max maya the list goes on if you can import an obj then you'll be able to use these models i wanted to get some models that could help a wide range of different people creating different videos so in terms of music videos you got stuff like rose katana you got some cool characters that later on you can bring into mixmo and animate like these t poses this android skeleton and so on and so forth so here's some quick little images this is the little light burner just used in a creative way this is some grunge shaders that are created for the models if you do have cinema 4d this is included within the pack some awesome looking renders here using that and you can just see the great quality of these models of these characters i reached out to someone who could actually digitally sculpt this for me so i didn't pick and choose these from any 3d websites i wanted good quality models that are designed in the way that i was looking for let me show you exactly how we can use this some cool features some things that are going to help you along the way so let's get right into it so we're going to start out within after effects actually because i think this is where the majority of you guys are going to be at you have premiere after effects you've been watching my tutorials i have made some element 3d tutorials so a lot of you are probably familiar with this method and i think that this is probably the easiest workflow for people that are first starting into 3d so there's a few ways you can actually bring these obj's into after effects there's three ways that i know of element 3d you can bring in obj's which is what i'm going to show you there's also a red giant plugin which allows you to bring in obj's and then there's also cinema 4d light which is built into every after effects which you can open up and then bring in the 3d model so let me show you with element 3d i'm going to right click down here and go to new solid and click ok and then i'm just going to look up the element 3d plugin drop that on there and then up in my effect controls, I can just fire up this scene setup. And it's as easy as just clicking import and then navigating to the folder that you download if you do wish to purchase it. And you have all of these options here. So let's go ahead and open up something like the skull. So let me open that here. Now here's a little tip. Sometimes when you're importing OBJs through Element 3D, there'll be a little like see-through. You can actually just click and use auto normals here. But for a lot of you, you probably skip past that step. So if you do see this here where it's kind of see-through, just scroll down here until you see surface options normals change that from from model to auto normals and you're going to see the 3d model just fix itself and become whole and then from here you guys can go ahead and just apply any material or texture that you guys would like something like that and then back in after effects you're going to see this snap into your screen and if you are a long time subscriber of this channel you'll know that in adobe premiere you can create a dynamic link so anything you do in after effects will show up in premiere so essentially you can bring these 3d models into adobe premiere so let's go ahead and just right click create a camera and then you can go ahead zoom in and be able to check out that model and use it for all of your projects and of course you can apply any preset effects onto there and i have a bunch of tutorials talking about element 3d and the awesome things you can do with it so i'm going to leave that down below but that's a great way to bring it into after effects and just a great little showcase of this model as a whole like i said great detail in here i wasn't looking for any cheap stuff i really wanted stuff that could apply to your projects and wasn't going to look dingy and cheap so shout out to dennis who actually sculpted all of these i'm going to leave his portfolio and his link on the product page speaking of which let's go and check that out so if you do wish to purchase this and you think that it could help you you're going to be directed to this page here if you guys have been on my channel for a while you're probably familiar with my website media monopoly um if you click video products you see we have a bunch of different assets for after effects and adobe premiere which are just going to help your workflow tremendously a bunch of them are located here plus a lot of free stuff now in terms of the 3d assets and textures we have some cool stuff going on here like these fleshy textures this little scene i want to build upon this and just grow the site as a whole keep providing you guys with useful stuff so the link will direct you here and by the time this video is out the actual product will be showing here now let's hop into cinema 4d and i'm going to show you some of the other little features you can do with this 3d model and with the shaders and like i said if you don't have cinema 4d don't worry it works with anything if you're looking for 3d software for free check out blender it's a great option and you'll be able to use these obj's as well so let's go ahead and drag in these obj's you can either click file merge objects and then here you go here's your folder i put a little screenshot next to each one so you know what you're actually clicking on make sure you don't click on the screenshot you click on the actual obj because this won't open anything so let's go ahead and open up something like the skeleton 
open that up one of my favorite models from the pack there we go nice high quality skeleton you know that if you're trying to find free models a lot of them are pretty low quality and once you do find the model that you do want usually it's a little bit higher price like eleven dollars twenty dollars up to a hundred dollars just for one model this just gives you a good starting point and a select pack of things that you can have at your disposal whenever you need it let's talk about some of the features we can do with this so in terms of the shaders let's go ahead and open up this folder so when you do download you're gonna get two folders you have your 30 models with your picture and then you have your shaders now the shaders is going to come with 20 c40 octane grunge materials 10 c40 octane x-ray shaders which is really interesting 10 fleshy textures which i talked about before in previous videos and then we have some standard render stuff some sub some subsurface scattering and then some other little setups and then your textures folder Let's go ahead and open up the grunge shaders. Now to do this, it's actually very, very easy. Or what I like to do is I just go to file, open, and then I'll just find the actual um, Octane grunge shader project file, open that up, and it's gonna open up in its own little project. So if you hold V on your keyboard, you can actually switch between projects like that. So here's with the skeleton, here's the grunge shaders, and it's super easy to bring this into your project. There's two ways. You can either hold shift and just select all these and then copy and paste. So control C and then hold V to go back to your other project and then control V, bam, there you go, already in your scene. So easy as that. Or what you can do to make it easier working through different projects is you can select any of these textures and then you can go to create and then save material preset and then just click OK. I already have it saved, so whenever you wanna use that save preset, you just go to create, load material preset, and then user library materials, and then there you go. All your textures right there, easy to use within C4D. So let's just drop an easy little sphere on here and I'll just bump the segments up and drop this so you can see what that looks like. So we have an object. Let's go ahead and just drag and drop this onto our actual object and you'll see that pop up. Since this is a Cinema 4D Octane shader, you need to have Octane Render Engine to be able to use it. Or it's just gonna look like this whenever you render at standard. So I made a bunch of videos talking about Octane. It's a great thing to have when first starting out because it allows you to visualize real time what your scene is going to look like. It opens up a lot of different tools, which I think help whenever you are learning. So here's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and just drop a little um, light on here so we can get a better representation. All right, so looking good. So we have that. Now let's go ahead and apply it to our model. You can use this with any model that you have. Just drag and drop, but there are a few more steps. So drag and drop onto your model. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is just delete this normal base texture tag that's on your mesh. Delete that so that we don't have any conflicting things going on. And now once you've done that, we can select our new texture tag with our grunge shader. And now that my camera's resized, I can show you over in these options. Um, what I like to do to make this fit better, um, it's always gonna change depending on your model, but I'll change the projection to flat. And then I usually make the length 25 on both so here we go with those settings changed that's what that looks like and that looks amazing in my opinion i really love how it looks on the skeleton and you can experiment with any model you have to be able to look like this using these grunge shaders and we have a bunch of different presets for you blue splatter red splatter blue tiger um, we have some normal dirt on silver some dark and light mossy looks bunch of other crazy ones like unstable plasma blotchy corrosion drywall so quickly if you miss some of that i'm going to redo it i'm going to delete that texture tag and we're going to go ahead and put blue splatter on here and then i'll select my texture tag i'll change the projection from uvw mapping to flat here's a little bonus tip if for every reason your material isn't loading up properly nothing's happening an easy little way to fix that just in case you do run into an issue just in case you do run into an issue is just double click on the material click on gradient in your diffuse channel and then you'll see this is the texture that's loaded in here big underscore one six just click this little three dots navigate to your textures folder in your actual shaders main folder and then just match up the picture click open say yes to copy the project path and then it'll all load up properly so in case your textures aren't loaded that's an easy little fix another thing you can do is just open up the node editor and just click get active material but that's how you really can fix this and then let's go back in and then once you've done that i recommend you reapply the material so that there's no issues going on and then like i said change those settings to be able to get the look to be able to get the look and feel that you like for the actual texture and there we go so that actually looks really cool i love how this one looks as well now let me just give you a quick side tip because i know a lot of you may be thinking i don't know if my computer can run this let me just give you a reference my computer isn't the best i have a gtx 1060 and i think 
i5 or i7 so i don't have the top of line stuff but i still do have a decent rig and i can run this perfectly fine but if you do have something that is weaker than that i'm going to show you a quick little tip that'll help save you a lot of time and energy and just make your workflow a lot more smooth so what we can do is i'm going to delete everything here so you don't get distracted say you just have a bunch of models in here things are lagging an easy way to fix that is what we can do is i'll click select this little bend option and drag in a polygon reduction now depending on what 3d software you have or cinema 4d version you have it's always going to be different so i recommend look up a tutorial on how to reduce polygons for whatever software or version you're using this is the way i do it you can change how much you want to reduce so usually something like 70 percent and then just make it a child and it'll reduce the polygons and save you time and you'll always be able to fix that and make it run smoother once you've done that you could just file export as an obj so that's only if you're worried about it not being able to run that's an easy way to just make it a more smooth and just reduce some of the polygons so that if you do have a worse computer you're still able to actually use this pack to its full potential but like i said for the most part if you have a decent computer you'll be 100 fine and if you do have a computer that isn't the most strong you can try that method there so anyways we talked about the grunge shaders we talked about the models let's talk about about some other cool stuff so i'm going to show you the x-ray shaders which is one of my favorite so to import the shaders like i said all you need to do is just open up the actual project file so file open go to shaders x-ray shaders and then just pop open that up if you guys get confused with this process you guys can always just click on the readme to be able to see these steps and you guys can always just come back to this tutorial to be able to watch link to this tutorial will be in the readme's so let's do the same thing. You can either select, create, and then save these material presets, or you can just select them all and then control C to copy, hold V, go back into your project, and then control V to paste. Let's go ahead and bring in a little model to show off these x-ray shaders. So let's go back to our starter pack, open up the models folder, super easy workflow for working between this, having it all organized, open up pill bottle two. This one's a really cool one. And um, let's go ahead and just fire up Octane one more time to be able to see in that live viewer window. All right, cool. So just at first glance, you'll see that you can see the pills in here, but the ones that are all the way back there hidden by the bottle. Let's go ahead and drop some of our x-ray shaders so that we can see those clearly and in an awesome looking way. Also, I do want to mention that a lot of these models are broken up using the polygon selection tool. So you see I select this selects the bottle i select here it selects the cap that makes it easier to be able to texture this however you want without having to do a lot of complex without having to do a lot of complex stuff like unwrapping uvs i'll just make a little red material drop it on the pills and now let's go ahead and use these x-ray shaders so i'll drop this red x-ray on the bottle and there's one more step to be able to get it to um, look the way it should come up here and just delete these default texture tags here bam and there you go completely see through just like that and then you can go ahead and texture it however you would like just remember always delete that normal texture tag to be able to see and then just to set up a little scene here i'm just going to bring in a texture environment make it black and then i'm going to bring in some lights and lights will really help make this effect pop a huge amount if you guys want i also am planning to make a tutorial showing how to bring this effect into a music video maybe in real life footage and how to kind of make it coincide which i think would be an awesome tutorial so let me know in the comments below if you do want to see that that would be a great application for these preset shaders showing you how to really mix it with real life footage or whatever you're working on there are fireflies in the render viewer here i recommend when you are ready to render just change your settings to bump up the samples or just look up a video talking about best render settings let me show you another little example here this time with a structure so we're going to bring in the gear structure now at first glance you just see the side of the wall here but if you actually hold alt and rotate over you'll see that there's some cool little stuff going on here some cool gears so let's go back and we're going to use our x-ray shader to see if we can see through the geometry so let's drop green on here and remember always delete that default texture tag and bam there you go easy as that you can do this with any model out there it's a really awesome preset shader to have and you get some really cool looks we even have some black and gray ones with different depths with different depth settings which is great and then other than that guys that really breaks down the most of it let's just go back to the shader folders there's a lot of bonus i included the fleshy textures that i made a video on before so you can get some really interesting looks using that as well as we have some cool stuff like some subsurface scatter subsurface scattering shaders um this little setup here where you can see rain on glass which i really like 
you can definitely work this into a lot of projects you guys may be working on and that is about it guys so like i said if you did enjoy what you saw and you want to pick it up link down in the description it'll bring you to the product page here if you guys do choose to support i greatly appreciate you because this is my full-time job creating these asset packs and just creating tutorials for you is what i love to do it's, it's what i do for a living and i'm going to continue to do that building up these different libraries to be able to help people who may be learning and coming up themselves so i just want to say thank you guys for watching if you do choose to buy it or if you don't i hope you did enjoy i hope this does help you in some way leave suggestions below for things that you'd like me to make in in the future and i definitely can get on that other than that we're back to our normal schedule of content that's going to be helping you so we got some premiere stuff after effects stuff some other cool things coming anyways guys thank you so much for watching and supporting and i'll see you guys in the next one